what I hear from this also is that whatever it is that you do as a human being, you're going to use AI to augment what you do. And maybe the output of what you perform is going to take less time. So it's going to be, it's going to lead to more productivity. Yeah. But at the same time, is there a point you think, Ben, that we rely too much on some of these technologies? And if there is some sort of electrical failure or something like this, where there's <laughs> a, a truly great human crisis, I'm not sure if this is applicable. Do you think that we'd be able to lose the ability to, I don't know, take care of ourselves? Is there a danger of being over-reliant on this type of technology in your eyes? Yeah, no, it's a great question. And, and it's something that, yeah, it does worry me. It's something that does concern me. We're becoming so reliant on technology, particularly in this sort of cloud-based model where everything is in the cloud and everything is, your passwords are all remotely on your device. And, and clearly cybersecurity continues to be an unfixed problem. We haven't solved cybersecurity. It's been an issue uh, you know, for as long as anyone can imagine, or remember, but it's still a big problem at the moment, you probably saw last week, there was a story around a CFO, a fake CFO requesting a transfer of money within a corporation. And it all went through because the, the, the deep fake CFO was so good that the kind of the employee went through that process. So it, that's a real issue. And I, I've long said that we're building this future of work on very flimsy foundations. I think big corporations, governments need, although they spend quite a bit on cybersecurity, you'd be surprised how little relative to market capitalization, uh, right. relative to their overall technology spending, they spend on cyber. So that's that's a gold mine. In fact, relating that answer to the, the your previous question, there's a great quote from a guy called Aaron Levy, who's the C CEO of uh, Box, the cloud security, uh, cloud storage uh, company. He said a few years ago, if you want a job for the next five years, work in tech. But if you want a, a job for life, work in cybersecurity. But yeah, I think that's that's a real issue. And of course, there are many aspects of this sort of di digital world that, uh, again, are, are sort of alarming and, uh, and, and scary. Some of your uh, listeners may be familiar with the book Surveillance Capitalism by Shazana Zuboff from Harvard Business School. It's a real kind of critique of the way that uh, our personal data is being monetized uh, by big corporations at the moment. And uh, I, I personally, again, I've, I've aligned myself with that thought. Yeah, yeah so there is, a, there is clearly a lot of kind of con areas uh, for concern, a lot of sort of negative aspects to this. But again, uh, I've always posed this question in the context that oftentimes the debate is between the utopians and the dystopians, and now the modern parlance seems to be changing to uh, between the accelerants and the de decelerators. If you, if people are familiar with that debate that's going on in Silicon Valley at the moment, but I've always felt that's a kind of false dichotomy in a way because we all know that in history it was the plague and war, <laughs> but people fell in love, got drunk, had a good time. So it was bad and good. We all know today there's terrible things happening in the world today, but people fall in love, get drunk, have a good time. So if that's true of the past and the present, why is the future going to be either or? It's going to be both. It's going to be right. full of terrible things, but people are going to fall in love, get drunk and have a good time. And, and that's true. And so if you follow that metaphor, that's true in technology is going to begat wonderful things and it's going to begat terrible things but say la vie 